Amen. We're going to have our differences of opinion. But time is short. Time is short. Amen. We've been fighting and arguing and pushing and shoving for a long time. And it's crazy. And I don't think we have much energy left <laughs> for that. I think we need to take inspiration and find some new energy to See do this work do. in a new way. And it's been said that we have an extraordinary opportunity. We have uh, a master plan for the first time since 1960. That for the first time and probably longer than that, we got a unanimous vote on the Planning Commission and the City Council. So let's build on that. Let's build on that momentum. Let's work with the individuals that we need to work with. You know, I believe that the leadership in this state does want to see us succeed. Amen. But I don't kid myself that there aren't some people who go to work in Lansing who would just as soon see us mess this thing up. See what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. So let's beat the odds. Amen. Let's do this work as quickly as possible. Let's take on this next challenge together. And let's make sure that our kids and grandkids Amen. aren't standing here 20 years from now having this same old debate. Amen. I think we can get past this. I'm ready for this work. I'm excited for each of you being in your positions. And I'm confident that with the team that we have coming to work in the city of Flint every day, our finance director, our chief, our emergency manager, and others, our clerk, that we can get through this together. So thank you all for your service. It's going to be uh, incredibly rewarding if we do this right. Amen. And I think that's why we're here. So thank you again to all of you for standing behind all of us. Um, we all love this city, and we want to see it succeed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, before Pastor Hickson come up, I just want to make one announcement. Tonight, the Flint City Council will convene at 7.30 here in the auditorium uh, for the first official meeting, tonight at 7.30. And it may not be a long meeting because they are probably rushed to go into church. <laughs> I'm still here, and I'm sure we're all ready to call this program to a close. Would you stand with me as we pray? Oh God, we mark this point, this day, as a turning point for our city. We stand here saying that where we are is not acceptable. We understand the challenges are great, but we are determined to move forward. We pray your blessing upon these nine that we have put into position. We, we affirm what they have heard of their affirmations of faith, and we look for good things to come as they step forward and exercise the leadership that they have been trusted to lead. We pray also for the others, our mayor and our financial administrator. And Lord, as Mr. Early just said, we understand that part of what we need is going to take something far greater than what they bring to the table. Amen. We would pray, O oh God, for a miracle to happen in our city. Amen. We would pray that the day would soon come, yes, when we can get to the new normal of our elected leaders leading us wisely. Amen. And we would pray that in the transition that they would behave in the way that gets us to that point. Amen. But we pray, O oh God, that your blessing would fall upon our city, Amen. that no longer would we be listed in the news at, as one of the worst cities in America, Amen. but that once again we will be the point of pride for our entire country. Hallelujah. That when people think about Flint, that's a city where people are moving toward, not a people that are moving away. Amen. And that will all start in this chamber. Yes, and decisions that are made yes, in this Lord. place yes, and Lord. by your guidance. Yes, and, oh, God, we ask with all sincerity, would you use these, our yes, servants, man. to take us into that better day? We've had enough yes. of the day that we're in right now. So with your blessing, Amen. we move forward and we trust in your help. Amen. Amen. Amen.